Uh, I'm Richard Bell. I'm, uh, I have an art practice in Brisbane. You know, um, well, the best artists, well, the best looking artists come from here. Like, I think that's my standard answer. <laughs> Ah, my first experience with art. Um, well, <laughs> the first experience that I can remember with art was you know, in high school um, when they offered art as a, as a course. And I thought, what is this? You know, <laughs> I had no idea what this thing was. You know, like, uh, and I was early teens, you know, 12, not 12, 13, 14. But my first adult um, interaction with art was probably here in, in Sydney, in, in Redfern. Um, there was, I lived next door to the Black Theatre so, um, in, in Redfern. And, uh, we saw plays and you look at, uh, the people who were in those plays and directed them and, and they were all blackfellas and we got talking about art a bit, you know, but um, I didn't get into art until much later, until uh, you know, the late 80s. Um, uh, and that was just in Brisbane, you know, like where I just spoke with uh, artists, curators, uh, some art critics there as well. Um, Mainly artists, you know, like um, I just I, I was interested in art, you know. So I'd invite people to come around to my place, and I'd cook meals for them, and that, and, you know, pump them with alcohol and food, you know, to in exchange for information about what this thing was that was called art. I think. Deciding that I wanted to be an artist, well, that I have, well, not to be an artist, but to make art. I think deciding that was probably the best decision I've ever made in my life. Um, well, one of the best, anyway. Put together a project in Venice last year, you know, which was you know, um, quite a big project, you know, cost uh, more than a quarter of a million dollars um, that I had to raise uh, uh, to realise this project. And that, it turned out way better than what I dared to imagine it could. Well, I've been making that for a long while um, um, and it, it took a... Um, about 15 years, you know, like, um, at it to, uh, before I could actually make enough money, you know, um, uh, to survive without being on the dole. You know. um, that was one of my aims slash wishes <laughs> you know, when I started out doing this thing, you know, was to be able to make a living off it. Um, but it's very difficult, you know, because... Um, Art is downplayed, you know, like in this country, and downplayed in in many of the the Anglo cultures, you know, like around the world, you know, like um, uh, particularly here and in the United States of America. So um, um, we basically have to put up with with um, treatment that um, most other industries don't have never sort of been involved in this kind of thing. So basically um, um, right-wing governments, just one of the first things they do is to slash the, um, the arts budget. What that says to me is that art must be very powerful if the first thing that the politicians do is to cut arts funding. They're trying to disappear art in this country. Whereas the creative arts employs 
percent of um, the, the workforce. You know, it's about the same as mining. And I'm happy to say, I'm proud to say that uh, our industry pays more tax than the mining industry.